Hey guys, Miss Master One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. So last time we made it back to Toad Town from Mount Rugged in the Dry Dry Outpost of the Desert Area, and now we're here to finish some stuff up before we head off to Chapter Three. Now there are a few things that I definitely want to get out of the way at the very start of the episode to ignore, like possible, like you know, um, inconvenient things happening. First of all, what I'm actually gonna do is go to this person right here in the Toad Town shop. And you can put in several items by checking them. And we want to put in, like, an Ultra Shroom. And this place is a really weird sound. Put in the Ultra Shroom because we want that for later. Put in a Wacka's Bump. Um, we will want to put in the other Wacka's Bump. Yes. Do we have another Wacka's Bump? Hmm. And I think what I'm going to do is actually sell the other Wacka's Bump for a little extra coin. For a few more coins. Like, 64 coins for a Wacka's Bump. It's pretty good. So, there we go, just stock those items for later. And now what we're gonna do is actually head towards the Toad Town sewers. So, let's get moving. Um, we're gonna want Pear Carry out because... Mm, well, let's just say we are gonna fight a uh, mini-boss there. So, we want to be ready with our... Technically, our strongest ally at the moment because he can do, like, the most damage. Plus, he can attack enemies who are flying or on, or on the ground, so... That's one real good advantage. Um, now, we went right last time where we got the Shrink Stomp Badge, I believe, for defeating the first blooper. And yes, there are more bloopers in this, in this sewer, so be careful. Now, there's also this one plank on the floor that we can't break yet, but there's this silver block we can break now with the Super Hammer, so we can go this way. Now, make sure you're okay, because when you step forward... Blooper! Oh my goodness. Oh! Yeah, and we have our second blooper fight. This one is actually a bit tougher than the one we fought earlier. Um, this is the um, Electro Blooper, which is the second blooper of the, you know, of the game. Now, this thing has, I believe, 40 HP. It has 5 attack power and it has no defense, so you don't have to worry too much about that. So let's use our power jump on it. And here's what I've come up with. We basically need 20 FP to kill this thing. Because here's the thing. We can do 10 damage each turn by using 5 FP by using Mario's Power Jump. Ow, it just squirted ink at me. Ew. And you can use the Shell Shot, which does 6 damage for 3 FP. Oh, nice. And we're actually going to have a little help from the spell right now. It's going to give us a little extra power. So time this right. 7 damage. So that's definitely going to help us out a bit. All right. And now that actually might decrease the turn slightly more now because we got a little extra more damage on it. Now, when this happens... Right here, Electro Blooper. That's why he's called that, because he can electrocute, he can, like, you know, turn, like, vent electricity through his body, and if Mario jumps on him, then what happens is that you get an electrical shock. You can still damage the enemy, but you take one damage from a counter. Now, one way to avoid this is to use Paracarry Shell Shot. That's also another reason why the Zap Tap badge can be helpful, because if there's any enemies that are like that, that do, like, emerge electricity, what you can just do is, you know, have the Zap Tap badge on. I believe you don't get hurt from electrical attacks because you yourself, you know, aren't prone to them since you, you know, create them. And he's going to be electrocuted again, so let's use Refresh. This boss is honestly not that hard. The, there's actually one more blooper fight later in, the, in like, the Toad Town tunnels, that, and that's, like, the only real one that's kind of difficult. So let's just use Paracarry Shell Shot. Bam! It's probably almost dead. We've nailed it quite a few times, you know, with our attacks. And I'm gonna have Paracarry go again, because we don't have enough FP to use both attacks. And there we go. So that was a pretty easy fight. 22 star points. We used up all our FP, but we didn't take too much damage, so... Well, look, he, le he leaves us a blue switch. If we press it, he causes these three blue pipes to appear. And if we go inside one, guess what happens? It leads here. It leads back to older areas we visited. Isn't that clever? So this is Goomba Village. If we take this one over here, it leads to Koopa Village, which makes the favors for Koopa Koot much easier to do now, because we can just travel between here and there with the pipe. And down this one is the Dry Dry Outpost. So thank God for that. And now we can travel to all three of these areas just from Toad Town, so no more bullshit, you know, traveling between, you know, actu like actually going there. We can take shortcuts now. 
But for now, I just want to take a goddamn nap and rest up my star power, rest up my FP, and rest up my HP, because... There are a few more enemies, and in case I run into them, I do not want to, like, because I can just avoid them if I really wanted to, but, you know, in case I get, in case I screw up and they actually do attack me, I want to be ready for it. So there's those three pipes there, but we can keep going to the left right here, so let's just keep doing that. We have three of these blocks right here. Um, if I recall correctly, there isn't a, I, I don't think there's a secret block anywhere. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, in the center, though, you get this item right here, which is a snowman doll. A snowman that crushes all enemies' attack power- or crushes all enemies. The attack power is four. So, it's basically a fire flower, but, you know, ice elemental, and it does one more damage, so that's pretty decent. Go to the left right here, we see some spiked glumbas with an L, because, you know, they're from the sewers. Okay, what the hell was that? That guy just ran, like, right through me. Oh, we have a- well, that's it really isn't a new enemy, but- we still have our spike shield on, right? I hope so, otherwise I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yes, we do, okay. And shell shot. I don't know why I'm doing this. You know, I don't like you, so just get out of here. Ah. And we have these little buggers, too. Um, These are the same guys from the um, outpost, of, or the ruins, I believe, like the um, buzzy beetles. They're basically just like Koopas, except they have 4 HP. Well, I mean, they do Koopa the 4 HP too, but they actually have two attack power instead of just one, so. And they also get up, like, the turn you flip them over because of how small they are, I guess? I don't know. And they're easy enemies, don't worry about it. Okay, and then there's seven star points. We won't get a level up before the third chapter because we're all actually almost done with the interlude. But, you know, you can take what you can get. Open this chest right here, and we get the Power Smash Badge. Ha hammers an enemy using a lot of attack power. It is basically Power Jump in the form of a hammer attack, so I'm honestly not interested because... The thing is, when you have Spike Shield on with your Power Jump, it kind of eliminates the purpose because, you know, the hammer is meant to, like, you know, hit enemies that have spikes on their heads, but if you have the Spike Shield, you really don't need to worry about that. So, pretty much, I'm not going to use that badge, but basically just think of a power jump ability, but it's with a hammer, and that's pretty much it. Now, coming over to this area, as you saw before, I did some platforming, and you gotta be careful because those two, like, enemies come out. And if you make your way over here, fly across this platform over here, you can find a star piece if you use Cooper to get it. So there you go. You got a star piece, just make sure you don't miss that. It's pretty easy to overlook, especially with this giant elevator right here. <laughs> Cooper looked funny just a minute ago. That was funny. Um, just get Paracarry out, because I like him the most, at this point in time, that is. Actually, maybe he might be my favorite character in general. Whee! Jump down here. And we have ourselves a, another super block. And since we only have Gambario left, we are going to upgrade him. Here we go! Upgrade Gambario! Oh! There you go. And Gambario is now super ranked, so that does it for all our party members at this moment in time. So for now, I'm just gonna ignore you, and we are going to leave the Toad Town Tunnels. There is only one more thing that we have left to do, and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> because honestly, either I get really lucky and I can do this really fast, or I will have to take a really long time, and I will have to edit out quite a few fails, because guess what we're doing again, guys? I'll give you one guess. I will give you a few seconds to think about it, and tell me what you think we have to do. Because honestly, all, only a few seconds is going to be before you find out what we're actually going to be doing. Have you figured it out yet? Well, we are going back to Gamble. <laughs> yes, this is a very dumb idea. We are going back to Gamble because we need 275 coins to buy the three new badges that Ralph has available at his shop. I have 200 coins right now, but we need 75 more, so... If all doesn't go well, I can lose all these coins in a matter of minutes. And if all goes well, I can do it on my first try. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, fuck. Yeah, saw that coming. Yeah. This doesn't show good sign, does it? Now I have to make a total of, like, 95 coins if I actually want to, you know, get it. Okay, one coin. Go over here. Five coins. Bowser. Of course. Why the fuck not? And I have a feeling I'm gonna lose all my friggin' coins if I don't do this. If I don't go save, because- Okay. 
If I lose three more times, then I will save. Okay, come on. Ooh, times five. Don't mess this up, please. Okay, 40 coins. That's not bad. We're getting there. We have we're basically where we started, because when we spend the money, we're back at where we started originally. Okay, come on. We can do this. Don't fail me, Mario. I said don't fail me, you... Ugh. You stupid, fat Italian plumber. I hate you. Actually, no, I love you. Why? I, that's why I'm playing your game. <sighs> Try this again. Okay. This block first. This block second. Times five. Not that good. Come on, give me five. Okay, now I'd like a times five if possible. I don't want you! <laughs> God damn it. Why does that have to be a game over? Why can't it just be like a time zero multiplier or something? At least give you something for like playing the damn game. God damn it. Okay. Come on. We can do this. Give me a times five. I'm begging you. Please give me a times five. I really need one. Fuck! Oh my god. This is why gambling is really bad. Because, you know... You know, once you start, you never stop until you can't do it anymore. And by, when, you, when you're forced to stop. Oh my god. You see, imagine what it'd be for the nine block challenge. I can't do this shit. I can barely do five blocks without getting, like, Bowser every fucking time. Imagine doing it with nine blocks. I'm very unlucky when it comes to- ooh. Okay. Come on, just don't get Bowser, don't get Bowser. <gasps> you motherfucker! <sighs> you know, maybe I should just leave this totally uncut so you guys can laugh at my misery. <sighs> okay, come on. I thought times five doesn't help when you have no coins to multiply it with. Ugh. God damn it. <sighs> wow, I got a whole 12 coins. Isn't that special? Would it help if I got that times 5 at the end instead of before? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. <sighs> One coin. What do you friggin' do? Times 5. Whatever. One coin. Can I get something out of this, please? <sighs> no. <sighs> <sighs> I'm gonna be here like all night, aren't I? <sighs> Come on. Times five. Oh, not, no, just regular five. Five again? Okay. Times five? Ooh, nice. Shit! Mm. I get off to a good start. I have a chance to get a decent amount of coins. And I fuck it up. Why, why wouldn't I? Okay, five. Come on. This one right here. That's one. Okay. Five. Five. This is okay. <gasps> nice! 80 coins. Okay, I'm happy with that. But <laughs> we're basically back where we started again. Oh my god. Jump attack! Boom. One coin. Hell yeah. It's five coins. We can do this. We are not gonna let anything stand in our way. We can do this. We cannot do this because we get Bowser. And Bowser means game over. Fuck. Jump a truck. Okay. Give me times fives, people. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice. 60 coins. What does that put me at? Ooh, we're getting close. I bet there's people yelling at me to go sell an item just to get up there so I don't spend, like, two more years here. But I'm ballsy enough to gamble. Is it stupid idea? Yes. But, you know, I... I was about to say... I'm willing to do it, but after that, I just kind of I just got demoralized a little bit. <sighs> Doing this for five minutes is not fun, especially when you're completely relying on luck, and you just hope you don't get fucked over. And when you just get one coins all day, sixteen coins ugh, doesn't really make a difference. Every multiple of ten is the only thing that really makes a difference when you're playing this game. So, whatever. One coin. Back here is a... <laughs> maybe I will edit this. Or maybe I won't edit. I don't know, because part of me doesn't want to like leave this in for useless video, but I bet people are going to be laughing at me for, you know, if I don't cut it, so... This is Bowser, isn't it? Yes! Why did I do that if I knew it was him? <sighs> See, you can never be too sure. You second-guess yourself all the time, and it bites you in the ass for doing so. Uh, you just gotta get really lucky. I don't know what else to say. 
Oh, hell yeah. 60 coins. Wait. Yes, I can leave. Thank you. Well, that's enough coins to get out of here. 275 is all I need. I have 278. I'm going out. Fuck you. <laughs> that only took five minutes. I'm actually kind of surprised. And I didn't have to reset my game either. Okay. Now, screw you all. I am going straight towards... The, the badges that Ralph has for sale. Oh my god. I'm still up from that. Okay. Now, he has three new badges right here. We have the Double Dip, the Sleep Stomp, and the Dodge Master. Let's start with the Double Dip. This lets you use two items in one turn. So, that could be potentially pretty good, actually. So, we'll do that. I mean, this one right here is called the Sleep Stomp Badge. It's like the Shrink Stomp Badge, except when you hit someone with it, they have a good chance of falling asleep. So, let's buy that. And the last but not least is the Dodge Master. This basically makes, you know... <laughs> the dodge mechanic work better, which means that if you, you can press the A button at slightly early and you'll still, like, get it. So, there we go. You're left with three coins to my, to my name, but I don't give a crap. And let's look at those badges really quick. How much do those cost, anyway? Because some of them actually sound useful. Um... I can't really see because they're grayed out. They all look the same. Okay, they're down here. Dodge Master. Double Dip. Oh, Double Dip only costs one BP. Hmm. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep up my regular setup. I don't care. But now, after all that, we have done everything I want to do. Oh, wait. No, we have not, actually. There's one tiny thing that's very, like, you know... I'm really nitpicking this game for, but there's one thing that I really like to do really quick. I want to go back to Goomba Village really quick because there's a an Easter egg and a secret. So, which one is it? This is Goomba Village over here, I believe. Go down, go down here. Now, if once you go back to this place over here, remember when like the veranda collapsed in the prologue? Well, if you go back to the veranda after chapter one, you can find a shooting star here, which hits all enemies for six damage. So, definitely want that. It's actually a pretty damn good item. So we'll have that done, but also there is a secret that we want to go take care of right now this way. Now we remember where we got the original hammer, right? And that there was a silver block where that we could not break earlier. And if you don't remember, I'm about to refresh your memory in just a second. It was in this area right here, and this was the silver block. Now, actually, let me just hit this heart block for the hell of it. Come on, hit the heart block. There we go. Hit the heart block. Get fully revitalized. Now, we can break this. And you might be wondering, well, what the hell is the point of that? Because, you know, we just broke it. And, you know, what gives? Well, if you jump where that block was, you can find a hidden item. You got Repel Gel. Makes Mario Transparent invulnerable for a short time. Repel Gel is one of the most useful items in the game. Is easily probably in the top three. And... You will make sure you want to get as many of those as you can because I actually found that out by accident one time Because I remember there was a super block there and I was like, you know, I never went back and bro. Oh wait Oh this guy right here this guy right here. His name is Chuck Quizmo and what you can do is he'll ask questions about um you know, things in the Mushroom Kingdom, like, about your adventure. And if you get it right, you get a star piece. He has 64 questions total, which means you can get 64 total star pieces from him. But I'm going to wait on him till near the end of the game when we've done, like, every chapter except the final chapter. Because there's some questions he asks that are, like, pending on, you know, the, like, points of the game that we're not at. So it'd be kind of spoiling stuff if we did it, did all those questions now. So remember him for later. But yeah, and I was like, you know, why do we have this super block here if there's nothing there? And I jump in the spot randomly, and I find Repel Gel. I'm like, holy shit. And yeah, Repel Gel, you'll definitely want to keep that. It's always a good idea. Anyway, now that we now that we have done everything that I want, let's go over this way. For no reason. No. Oh. Ah! What's going on? <gasps> was that what I thought it was? Toad, what's going on? Just now, a ghost passed right in front of me. Uh, you saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. That was weird. Uh, I'm not the only one. Oh, hell. Over there! It's laughing at us. It's laughing at us again. No, no, the other way. I can't see anything. Well, Mario can't. He go, he, there he went. He went into the forest. This is weird. But Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go to the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it. It's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. But please, I'm begging you. Well, you are a pansy, aren't you? Well, let's go see. 
It takes a man to do a boy's job. We go over here and oh, sky's getting dark. Hello. Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call on us at the mansion on the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she is in that she has in her possession important news regarding the Star Spirit. Hmm. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. Okay. Seems inviting. Holy shit! And if you don't come, we'll get you. Bo, oh, my screen is having a seizure. Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me when I was a kid, so. Uh, but anyway. And wow, the screen still stays dark. That's kind of eerie. Oh, and if you go back to the town, it, like the music doesn't get creepy. It goes back to Toe Temple when you get closer. It gets really creepy again. But anyway, we are going to end the video off here. And next time. We are going to go after that boo and try to find the mansion that they're talking about, and we're start and we will start chapter three. So I've been Miss Master One. This has been the second part of the chapter two interlude, and next time we go to chapter three and we see what's up with this. So see you guys later. Miss Master One signing out. Peace out, guys.